Thank you very much and uh, uh, for the opportunity uh, to express our shock at uh, the conduct of the president and maybe possibly his address. Um, for the past two or three weeks, there has been a raging debate on the shortage of drugs in the hospitals. And government, government have been contradicting uh, itself uh, through the Minister of Health, the Permanent Secretary, and the spokesperson of government, including some cadres they have appointed in government who are speaking uh, in the name of uh, Director Special Duties and all these portfolios they have created. But the point we want to raise today is I think the President is talking, taking the scandal of uh, the shortage of drugs for granted. It's like a joke. To have a head of state leave his community house, leave state house, to go to the Minister of Health to have a private meeting with the Minister of Health is really unfortunate. We know that it was a media stunt to try and take selfies and try and show that possibly he's concerned about what is going, going on. If he was serious and genuine about it, we should have seen him go and see the reality on the ground. Either at UTH, we left many first-level hospitals in Chilenje, in Matero, in Chawama, in Kanyama. He could have gone and seen how people are dying and the death rate that has increased, the mortality rate that has increased as a result of lack of drugs in the hospitals. I think the president must not be you know, driven to undertake propaganda now that he is in government. The Zambian people are not you know, expecting the president to continue feeding them with propaganda. They are expecting practical solutions to the challenges that have so far been occasioned by the incompetence of his lieutenants, the incompetence of the ministers, the incompetence of this government. The disaster in the Ministry of Health is uh, one that one that we can never, never really gross over or possibly, you know, minimize because it borders on the life of the Zaman people. So I think that exercise, uh, we condemn it with the contempt that it deserves. The president needs to be serious when it comes to the lives of the Zaman people. Thank you very much.